Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today I'm looking at some uh, cool headphones uh, which are supposed to make you feel like there's no headphones. And uh, these are for the SXFI from Creative. And just taking a look at some of the things at the back of the box here, we have 30 hours in battery life, low latency SXFI wireless transmitter, so that's perfect for gaming. And also the ear pads, which are leather, are also detachable. And we also have a detachable gaming microphone. So for the exciting part, let's go ahead and open up the box and uh, see how the headset looks like. So first thing you see here are the headsets and all the other things I believe should be underneath, uh, which we have another box here. First thing, taking a look at the headset here. Feels like high quality materials, everything. Feels nice. Uh, so you're able to move it extended, of course, here to fit your head. And let's just go ahead and quickly put. So one thing I noticed here, you can see here R and L. Uh, this is perfect because uh, with most headsets, there's like, you kind of have to guess sometimes just like put it on and it's like, you know, you put it the wrong way. So this is actually perfect. They put like some big letters here so you know exactly which side is which. And uh, over here, we do have some buttons. Uh, we have the Super XFI and the volume and the microphone mute. And then down here we have the USB Type-C, also the 3.5 millimeter input as well. And on the back, the power button and uh, the input for the microphone as well, which also has a nice uh, plug here if you don't need to use that. So let's try them on and uh, see how they feel. They do feel comfortable, they're not too heavy and uh, the nice leather cushioning here feels nice. And also I'm uh, pretty sure the sound leakage is going to be good on these because right now it you can feel like they're like airtight in there. It, so let's go ahead and see what's uh, in this uh, small box here. So we have the manual which also comes with a USB wireless adapter here as well for the Wi-Fi and the microphone here. I'm interested to see how this sounds like. It's actually pretty big down here. So probably that's gonna sound good. So we'll, we're gonna see about that one. And also we got the USB Type-C cable and another USB adapter. So this is if you want the adapter closer to your desk, you can use that. And we got the 3.5 millimeter cable here. Also, the first thing before you go ahead and plug anything in, you kinda need to download the SXFI app. So this is the letter you get is like read me first. Uh, the first thing you do is download the app and then personalize your Super XFI profile. So pretty much you're gonna take a picture of your like ear and also the side of your face. And then uh, you're gonna just log in with that same username and password on your PC or Mac. And uh, the headphones should be specified to your ears. Alrighty, so I've got the app installed both on my phone and also laptop here. First thing you need to do is uh, plug in the wireless adapter on your laptop. And the second thing you do after you logged in and everything on your app, we're gonna go on the left hand side here and we're gonna go on wireless setup. And here we're gonna be able to see the SXFI theater, so click on that. Perfect, so if you get this, uh, let's say you're clicking here and nothing happens, what you need to do is on the adapter itself, there's a button, you have to click connect. And there we go, so I'm just gonna go ahead and confirm. And right now it should connect. So right now it's connected, successfully paired, which is nice. So the next thing what you wanna do is to personalize your headset. We're gonna go ahead and click personalize here. So when we're looking to do the head mapping, uh, first you have to take a picture of your left, right ear, then the, the face. So if you have an assistant to help you take a picture, that would be perfect. So right now you can see uh, it took a picture of my right ear and it kinda maps it out. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click next here. So right now it wants to scan my face. So, oh, it does it pretty quick. And it captures the right uh, there, as you see, it maps it out, which is cool. So right now it says your head has been mapped and we have computed your personal audio map. So finally, time to test this out. I have some Dolby files here, got them directly from their website. And I do have the Super XFI button pressed. 
So right now, let's just go ahead and hit play here and uh, see how these sound like. Just gonna put full volume here. Okay, uh, first impression on these, they do sound amazing. Um, I wish I could describe how they sound like because when you press this Super X FI button here, it feels like there's like speakers around you. Pretty much to sum it up, it feels like you're in an IMAX theater and when there's like bass and everything like you hear it ar all around you, that's exactly how these feel like. For movies, these are definitely gonna be my favorite uh, headphones. And I'm really looking forward to do some gaming with these and uh, see how that sounds like. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this in and we're gonna go ahead and test out the mic, how that sounds like. So let's uh, test this one out. So right now I'm using the detachable microphone and uh, you can hear the quality for yourself. And just taking a look at the SXFI control panel here, we're able to do some cool things, um, especially the lighting. You're able to see the ring light here on the both sides here. You're able to choose any color you want. I'm going to demonstrate that after a little bit more. And uh, Super X5, you're able to turn it on straight from there or you just click the button here. And uh, there's a problem which I've noticed, which I'm going to share during the end as well, which uh, I don't really like. But uh, taking a look at the setup option here I'm able to set like the headphones to stereo 5.1 7.1 and mixer we're able to choose the volumes and all that stuff here so right now you kind of hear what it sounds like with the microphone uh, just putting this the microphone just a little bit further away uh, you can see you can hear how it sounds like uh, but if you put it uh, real close here uh, definitely I can see a looks way better even than the spikes here so that's pretty much the quality of the microphone so right now i'm gonna go ahead and show you how the color changes happen here uh, so right now i'm on the actual app here and uh, there we go uh, so blue uh, let's say i want green so pretty much you're able to choose any color you want to and if you want to save a little bit more battery time you can definitely turn it off uh, so you can definitely make it a little bit lighter or make it stronger, brighter here. So that's pretty much how the color works. After using these headsets for a good amount of time, I can definitely say these are some of the best headsets that I've had so far. Uh, the main thing is that definitely feels like when you're listening to these, it feels like there's like speakers around you. It doesn't feel like you have anything on which is pretty impressive. Now I know why they got all those awards. So after doing some gaming, I could definitely hear people like on the back shooting. Uh, you can definitely hear those. It feels perfect. And if you're listening to music, uh, watching movies, the bass on these are is great. High, mid, just feel good. Everything uh, when it comes to the audio quality is uh, good with these. And the latency, I didn't notice any latency uh, with the Wi-Fi while gaming either, which is good. So the downside, uh, definitely there is a downside and it's the volume knob here. So let's say you want to go ahead and mute uh, something quickly or just turn the volume down and you just want to turn the knob like fast. It doesn't work that way. The faster you go, the slower the volume goes down. So you kind of have to go like slow if you want to go the volume to go faster, which uh, it's kind of doesn't work at all. And the other thing is when I'm turning the volume down or up, you know how on the windows you get the percentage, uh, like on my Logitech headset, I'm able to see like the volume going up and down in the percentage. After this, it's all like kind of built in, I think. So it's turning the volume down, but I don't see it there. And it just doesn't really work that well. And it's something you kind of use um, a lot too. So that's the only downside of the headset. Nothing to do with the audio, but the knob, the volume knob here. I highly recommend these headsets. Uh, definitely if you're gonna be doing some gaming or watching movies, they sound great. Uh, the first thing you need to do when you get these headsets, obviously just get the app, uh, take pictures of your face, uh, ears, 
and then it sets it up for you. It does take like a minute or so to set everything up, but after that you're all set. You don't need to like redo it again. So that kind of sums up the review. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer it. And if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and uh, turn the notifications on. And if you liked the video, thumbs up or thumbs down if you disliked it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.